Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain Why don't you sing along, my friend, for it's our last refrain Forever young, ever strong, ever brave Memories like this never end, no, they don't fade away So when I'm Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Yesterday I was super lazy um, and I did nothing. I literally stayed in my bed all day. I think I was just drained from all the whole dissertation stuff the day before. I was just like, I just want a whole day off resting. I just didn't feel great yesterday just in general so I feel like I really really needed that and now I'm feeling a lot more pumped to go today. Um, my hair is super greasy so I'm just about to jump in the shower i'm using um these new philip kingsley products which are fucking amazing like i am obsessed with them so i'm gonna use some philip kingsley in the shower treat myself and then do my makeup start the day i know it's weird probably to a lot of people that i'm doing like my makeup when we're literally inside all day every day but it just makes me feel like i'm ready like i'm ready to do anything it just makes me feel like prepared i don't know if it, that anyone else feels that at all if i make myself look good and then i feel good i feel like i can just like power through my to-do list for the day so that's what i'm gonna do i also need to po um post this which came yesterday i haven't talked about this on the vlog yet but basically superdrug have sent me over their circle premium dna collection kit and these, I've been wanting to do something like this for ages and they've sent over their premium kit, which I'm so grateful for, but I'm just a massive nerd. And obviously I do forensic science at uni, so making me live my geeky dreams. Um, but yeah, so I'm sending off my DNA sample today, which um, I'm absolutely fine doing. I know a lot of people I've said in my uh, actual video, I'm actually doing a whole main channel video where I'm gonna share the reports and everything that I get back from the DNA. Um, but there's so many things that this shows, it's insane. It literally can tell me about my diet, my cancer risk, common health risks, drug responses, tells you when to family plan, um, talks about stress and sleep, personality traits, which I think will be super interesting to see whether my DNA can show what my personality is like. Like I never even thought that was a thing. Um, stuff to do with brain health and dementia, nutrition, well-being, pollution, music and dance. Like it literally is gonna give me so many reports. Um, I'm looking forward to ancestry as well. I will let you guys know when my main channel video goes live. I have to wait for the DNA sample to be um, fully extracted and analyzed. And I think that takes two weeks, which is crazy that they can do that in that, that short space of time. I need to post that maybe later when I walk the dog, but I'm just gonna jump in the shower and I will chat to you when I'm out. Sorry if you're finding these vlogs boring, but I am really loving watching everyone's homey, chilled, relaxing vlogs. So I thought I'd create them myself and I'm enjoying doing them as well. It's keeping me a little bit sane talking to a camera, which is something I never thought I'd say. So I am all ready now and I've just come to our local field. Well, this is like the one that I went to the other day was like our leisure field, but this is sort of more like a little hidden field off the side of my like street which is kind of weird like it's really hidden and there's actually no one here like it's really blissful like it's just incredible like being out in the open air with like no one about it reminds me of my childhood because i'd used to like meet all my friends like in this little <laughs> this little field we'd go buy like so many snacks from tesco and all sit and like eat our food and just like climb the trees and, yeah it's given me some flashbacks some time to reflect um and i'm just i just get thrilled watching him do this <laughs> she's so happy just running about in circles so nice to see him being all happy and running about i'll try film some clip bunny are you happy happy yeah <laughs> bunny is it the happiest you've ever been he loves his life i used to I remember that tree over there that's like fallen it's like weird it's like over a mini little like stream and we used to like climb over it and try not to like fall in the stream but yeah literally nothing has changed it's always pretty quiet around here but not this quiet like there's literally no one around um but yeah just having a nice little walk so barney can go to the toilet <laughs> and so he can have a little play probably gonna chase him for a bit because <laughs> he loves that right so i am back 
from the walk. Haven't really done much work just yet. I tried to do a bit earlier, but the dog is so needy. But I'm now gonna do some work. I'm gonna put my jumper on actually, because I'm really cold. I've got this um, Calvin Klein, like it's actually supposed to be like a night shirt, but I'm using it as like an oversized tee anyway. Um, from Fig Leaves, they sent it over, so. I'm really loving that. I'm just so tired and I'm not even like doing anything. Is anyone else feeling the same way? Uh, I also put like a darker lip on today and I really don't like it on me. <laughs> That's wonderful. Maybe I'll take it off and redo my lipstick. Um, but I need to look at what I've got planned in my diary. I did a little list on my phone last night before I went to sleep because I was like, I've got to do this, 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 this. So I am going to run you through my little to-do list. I'm gonna write it down in my notebooks. Maybe we can get start getting a little bit productive at least. I also had like the worst news ever this morning. Um, Some of the deals that I had coming through that were actually really exciting have fell through because of corona. I feel like this is the same situation for loads of people who do online content. Obviously I don't do it full time so it's not like ridiculously bad for me, but it is kind of shit. <laughs> it is kind of really shit when I was like promised a deal and then because of corona it's gone like shit but I, I understand why it's just like fuck like <laughs> so I had a bit of that shit news today but I'm in an okay mood considering um but my Friday to do I put to start my disc poster today but I might do that at the weekend um so like Saturday or Sunday so I'm gonna put that in for Saturday I think disc poster Oh, I need to post my DNA kit. I was meant to do that on the walk and I fucked that up. Then I have to, oh, I suppose it again, send my nasty gal return off. I've been holding that off for too long. So hopefully I'm still able to do that. The One of the jackets didn't fit me that I got in my last haul. Then I need to write a blog post. Well, I don't need to, but I really want to get back into my blogging. I've got more time now so I can run my blog too. It's really hard to like run all these social media channels alongside my degree. So that's why I like always am slacking on one. And at the minute it's been my blog for a long time. So I really wanted to just do like an updated beauty favourites. Just to share like what I'm loving at the minute. Which I thought would be quite nice. And include some bits and pieces in there. And then, what else have I got on my list? Oh, I need to finish. So one of my old friends, Harvey, is having lots of difficulties because of coronavirus. Um, and he had to have like this showcase to get an agent. He does like musical theater. Uh, I think it's musical theater anyway, drama, dance, along those lines. I'm sure, pretty sure it's just a musical theater degree. And he needs to make, he needed to make a show reel um, instead because obviously they can't do the agent showcase now that Corona's around. So he asked me if I could make him a show reel. So I just, um, I did like most of it last night. I just need to finish off all of the pit bits that he told me to do. So I'm gonna put that on my list today. I also need to tidy my room. So I'm gonna like tell myself that I need to sort two, ba two more bags out. Cause I'm just like crowded with so much shit in my room that it's just making life stressful. And then, yeah, that should be it. Maybe I will try and ring Eurostar as well to try and sort out my thing for Amsterdam. It's really pissing me off because, like, they're just, they're saying they can give e-vouchers back, which is, like, okay, yeah, I get it, like, e-voucher, brilliant. But that's going to have, like, a time frame on it. And I don't, like, know if I'm going to be able to go to Amsterdam any other time in the year at the minute. So I'd just rather have my money back especially during this like difficult time. So graft to get my money back, um, which would be interesting. And um, yeah, first I think I'm gonna do Harvey's showreel stuff. So I'm gonna pop you on the side so you can see me in action editing. This is like a semi good angle I feel, is it? I can't really tell. Just need to check what Harvey wanted me to change. Extend this section. So he just wants me to change the arrows. So basically I have to like point him out in some of the like group numbers. So I just need to make these arrows white. So I'm gonna grab some off Google, I think, and just like type in uh, white arrow transparent because I want the background to be transparent. So I can just overlay it on top of the, the clips. I'm just gonna replace all of these arrows now, which might take a while. Okay, so I've now added in all of the white arrows to where Harvey is, and I am now going to 
sort out the music to make sure like it dims when Harvey's singing like in the sections where he's like either speaking like acting or singing so you can obviously hear his talent and um, so that's what I'm gonna do and then it should be finished and I'll send it off for his approval see if he wants me to make any more adjustments so So I'm just exporting that. So I've managed to tick that off the list. So I'm gonna put that off. Um, that was one of my quick and easier jobs to do. So that's made me feel a lot better already. I just need to upload that to Drop Dropbox when that's exported and send that over to him to make sure everything's okay. Maybe I will do some tidying. I can't really be bothered, but it has to be done, doesn't it really? How is everyone finding? lockdown i'm okay at the minute but like i am genuinely really stressed about like the future and like the fact that my third year is over there's going to be a huge recession i'm not going to get a job i'm somehow supposed to work absolutely fine at home and they haven't really taken into consideration at uni like people don't have environments at home to work in like luckily mine's okay but still it's way better when i'm at uni just i just really just can't believe this is happening i'm genuinely like feeling at the minute like what is going like i can't believe it like how am i finishing my third year in the middle of a worldwide pandemic that's all i want to say like how are they expecting us to continue and pretend that everything's fine when we're in the middle of a world worldwide pandemic a global pandemic and i'm supposed to carry on doing my uni work apparently it is what it is let's tidy up my room so i'm literally going to tidy my room i'm watching emily in the background emily philpot i freaking love her videos she has like really chill videos she's got absolute like everything about her is just so lovely so i'm watching her vid whilst i'm gonna tidy up i way prefer having like youtube videos on in the background the music is just what i like so yeah let's get going i'm gonna first sort out my ottoman at the bottom of my bed for some reason the lighting's going weird i'm gonna sort out my ottoman at this huge pile of clothes over here which is making me ill and yeah let's give it a go i should probably make my bed because this is just everything's a state isn't it ew <laughs> putting stuff in my wardrobe. I didn't realize I had so much space in this wardrobe. It must be because I've taken everything to uni. just had some information through from my one of my managers about a discount code so I can start a brand deal essentially so I thought I would film part of it I'm not gonna actually be able to film like the actual substance of it so I'll just have it like a, as a little time lapse but I thought this would be quite interesting to let you guys know how the behind the scenes work of that side of things so this one's for an Instagram stories so I'm working with a brand called Parfum Dreams. I sent over some bits earlier on in the week and I've been testing them every day. So I've tried out their foundation, which I am obsessed with. Um, I'm wearing it today. I found this on their, I didn't realize they did makeup as well as fragrance originally. So when I saw that they did like makeup, I was like, oh my God. So I picked the Clinique Even Better Glow foundation and it is so amazing. It's so lightweight, but really good coverage. And then I got an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick, the La Via Belle Lancome perfume, which everyone raves about. And I smell this all the time when I go to the airport and I'm like, I really need to buy this when I run out of perfume and I have, so I'm really excited. So that's what I'm doing the brand deal on. I'm just doing a couple of Insta Instagram stories. So I've had the brief sent over and it comes, I'm not gonna show too much, but it like, some brands go a little bit extreme and like send like a whole document. Sometimes it's really vague and you can like have full creative control. But this one, I've just got like a couple of key messages to include. So I'm just gonna note down 
stuff that I make sure I say. Obviously I wouldn't be working with companies that I don't truly believe in and that I don't like the products. I don't really share the side of things where I've had to go back and had to cancel stuff and not do stuff because things don't work and I'm not happy with them. Um, so everything you do see on like my Instagram, my YouTube channel, whatever, is all brands that I genuinely support and believe in. Or like I've bought from them before or like, do you know what I mean, these products are amazing. Like I've been using these the, the whole week since I've got them and I'm obsessed. I'm just gonna read through the brief again and then film my stories. Right, so I've just noted down everything I need to know for the stories and I will just film them now. So yeah, let's go. So I've just filmed the like main bulk of me talking. Um, I kept stumbling on my words as always. And now I'm just gonna film the actual clips for it on my camera because the quality is a lot better. So I'll be back with you in a minute. So it is a little while later now. I've just been on FaceTime to carry for the past couple of hours I think because we've just been writing um, our ebook that we're trying to release as soon as possible because um, we've been working on it for a little while now and we would just want to like get it out there so people can get it if they want it. Um, I think I've talked about it like briefly in one of my videos but me and Carrie are basically writing an ebook um, all about like Instagram and making the most of your profile and growing and like just basically a beginner's guide to Instagram because um, we thought one of the most common questions me and Carrie get asked on Instagram is like how we built a platform and although we like know we're not like the biggest creators in the world we thought we'd give our like top tips because it is like one of our most frequently asked questions so we've written we've like made this whole guide on top tips things that people may not know about the industry and just things that we like follow that help us um, to build our platform platforms into bigger better places so hopefully yeah that's an empowering little ebook that some people might be interested in I'm not sure if people on YouTube who watch my YouTube would be interested in that but I know a lot of people on Instagram do message us quite frequently about um building a platform online so yeah hopefully that is really helpful so literally we've just been sat on google docs like both typing up and writing up our ideas and everything um i didn't want to film it because i didn't want to spoil anything and now i'm just waiting for dinner my dad's making homemade chips and i'm buzzing like the best thing about coming back from uni is the fact that my dad has been cooking all the meals and he's such a good cook so yeah, that's definitely a change from my shitty random uni meals that I'd have. I was supposed to film a video today, but I think I'm just going to delay that and do that tomorrow and upload it tomorrow instead. I'm going to make like a whole video on people I think are worth binge watching on YouTube during this time. And I know a lot of people have created videos about like Netflix shows to watch and re books to read, but I thought recommending my favorite YouTubers because YouTube is my life. Like it's literally all I watch in my spare time. So I thought making a little YouTube binge list would be quite fun and maybe other people who are as, uh, who are as obsessed with YouTube and want to find new people to love then hopefully I've got your back I've literally written down a list of shit loads of people and there's so many different like comedy podcast um beauty fashion lifestyle university literally a complete range of people so yeah I'm very excited to share them with you right so I have now had my dinner and again I've been on face on to carry we've been getting cracking on with our ebook this evening and um, so that should be up very soon hopefully we're thinking next week which is crazy but we've got a lot of time on our hands now that we're at home completely forgot I was just looking at the clips I've got on my SD card and I completely forgot to share me trying on my Fabletics clothes that I got the other day they sent me five outfits and I like just tried them on and I completely forgot to like add them into any of the vlogs that I put it put up earlier on in the week so have them now I hope you enjoy I really love the lilac set and the haze gray set they're like my two favorites I absolutely love them and if you are if you become a new vip member you can get two leggings for 24 pounds um so yeah if you want to grab that deal then make sure you sign up and become a new member of fabletics and yeah here are the clips so this is the first like gym wear outfit i absolutely love this i think this was definitely one of my favorites when i chose them from the site so this is actually like a three-piece outfit that they had on their website and i was like oh my god i'm obsessed so this is what i picked out so this underneath it has like some cross straps on the back if you can see um it's actually a unitard so um 
if you can see here this is the underlayer this is the actual unitard and it's just really tight really flattering and i just feel like really comfortable in it like i feel like i'd be happily go to the gym in this the material's so high quality you can't see through it i'm not wearing any underwear underneath as you can probably tell super comfortable and then i've got these shorts these black elasticated shorts they fit absolutely perfectly i've got everything in a size medium sorry i've got a tag here let me take that off i got everything in a size medium so and that might give you a little bit of a reference as to what size you could go for because obviously as these um quality like high quality pieces are a little bit pricier you don't want to obviously have to faff around with sizes so yeah this is a medium and i fit perfectly i'm pretty sure it like has size conversions on the website and it said that a uk size 12 was a medium and yeah i'm really happy with how this fits like i feel really confident in it and then to top it off we've got like a little shell bomber jacket which i think is going to be perfect and um, not only for the gym but just day to day because it is black it's very simple the material again is really thick like it just feels so high quality and like it's never gonna break and it's gonna last for absolutely ages i just feel like this is such a cute gym outfit especially now it's getting a little bit warmer in the uk i feel like the things that i look most when I go for like a gym outfit is something that I feel confident in and something that's comfortable because there's nothing worse than feeling self-conscious <laughs> when you're in an outfit or you're feeling uncomfortable while you're trying to work out and focus on like working your body so this ticks both boxes for me personally but I'm actually really happy with how it feels and it makes me feel like I'm going back into my dancer days and um, if you didn't know I danced from like the age of three to 18 um, like ballet, tap, modern, jazz, contemporary all that sort of stuff so it makes me feel like I'm going to do like a a ballet class if you know what I mean I just feel like I could just pirouette pirouetting around my room um but yeah so I definitely can use this because I think I'm going to start um dancing again when I finish uni just because I haven't had the time to like fit it in around uni work and social media and stuff so yeah I definitely think I'm going to wear this uni tard to some like dance lessons when I head home after uni <laughs> I can't believe how comfortable this outfit is. Like, this is definitely a me outfit for the gym. It's something not too bright and vibrant, um, but just it makes me feel a little bit put together. I always feel like if I go to the gym and wear like a coordinating outfit, I feel like I've got my shit together, like I know what I'm doing. Um, and yeah, I just absolutely love this. So these um, leggings are the utility leggings. There are like some zip features. Um, I can't remember where they are. There's some like zip features on the side here if you can see just small little zips if you wanted to put your phone in. There's also one of these like slide in pockets here that you can like put your phone in as well which is obviously massively handy if you're at the gym and it's definitely not going to come out because it's very secure in there which I think is a massive bonus and I've never had any like leggings or anything that are like that. <laughs> So yeah, these are in the coral grey colour. It's like coral grey slash haze grey. And then the top is just their haze grey. It's like a slightly lighter, um, the top is like a slightly lighter grey. I haven't got a bra on underneath, but obviously I'd wear a sports bra underneath this. It's just long sleeved, very tight fitting. It just, I feel like it's very like shape hugging and very flattering, like for me anyway, like I just feel confident in it. Um, it's got some like cool ruche details down the arms which is very different i didn't know if i'd actually like this when i saw it as i picked it out um because it looked a little bit different to the website to be honest um but now i've put it on i actually don't think it's like too bad it's not too much of a um drastic feature that i think people would stare at and i like as well that they've got the little hand bits that you can put your hands through for when you're like holding weights and things i'm really big fan of this obviously it's a little bit more simple because it's just like a very like tonal <laughs> outfit but yeah massive thumbs up and i'd highly recommend these leggings they just fit to me like a dream right okay so third outfit so we've got these leggings which i actually really love they're like dark gray panelled with a, like a paler lighter haze gray like earlier and then a lilac at the bottom if you can see sorry i've not really got a great camera like a wide lens for this so here we go <laughs> then just like a block gray sweater and um, it's got like whole like a hoodie hole things in the front but like it's not actually a hoodie it's got like a weird neckline that i just think is uncomfortable and it's like the leggings are really comfortable i did pick these but i don't know why the wrong sweaters come this is the penultimate set so i actually like this a lot more than i thought i was going to because off camera it's sort of like the material looks very different very weird i've not got any like active wear that's this material i can't really like explain what it's like but it's actually really comfortable now that i'm wearing it and like have it on it's very secure um what i found with like all these fabletics products are that they're like tight in a good way like i didn't struggle to get them on but they like fit straight to you and it makes you like feel quite confident and do you know what I mean? Like secure, which you want to be, obviously. So this is the sports bra. 
but I'm a massive fan of this, I think. It fits really nicely. I got everything in a size medium again. Got some like little details. It's sort of like this salmon-y, pinky color, and then like a lighter pink at the bottom. And then it's just sort of like a low scoop at the back, if you can see there. But the leggings go all the way down to my ankle. They're a really nice length. There's still like a little bit of length on if you are taller than me. I'm 5'5", five five, and obviously these are high-waisted leggings as well. So you could pull them up and you've still got like a lot of material at the bottom if you are taller. But yeah, I think these are very high quality and this is the cheapest set I think that I have. Okay, I'm gonna change into the last set now. Okay, so the last set we have is this lilac two-piece. Now I've got a lilac sports bra. It's got a really high neck, something that I didn't think I'd like because I feel like I have really broad shoulders. Um, but I feel like it kind of complements them weirdly, if that makes sense. And then it's got that sort of like racer, racer back style um which again i don't usually go for but i actually pleasantly like it which is good <laughs> these leggings are a little bit different i'm not too sure if i'm a fan of them now that i've got them on but yeah the, the material's comfortable it's just i don't think it's my style when something that i wouldn't usually go for it but the material is obviously good quality as you can see like you can't rip, you can't see my underwear through um i can't fault them too much i just don't really they're just not very me. But like I said, the sports bra, I pre way prefer from this set, which I thought it was gonna be the opposite way around. I thought I was gonna prefer the leggings and not like the racer back sports bra. Um, but turns out, this is why you have to try things in person. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm gonna get into bed, chill, watch some YouTube. Um, and I've got another busy day ahead tomorrow. I've just planned it out. So hopefully it'll be as productive and ticking things off as much as possible. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you have enjoyed this vlog. Sorry it is like a bit meh because I'm just in my room most of the time. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.